I'm so passionate about this thing I'm talking to you about because I've been there. I have opened myself up to different devilish demonic things to use me, honestly. And I'm telling you, that is not the way you want to go. At first, it looks all pretty and all of that, but let me tell you, the devil never gives you anything good. Take it from me, never, never, ever, ever does the devil ever give you anything good. And whatever he gives you always comes with a price. <laughs> hey guys welcome back to my channel and if you're here for the first time my name is Belema Ogulu and you're absolutely welcome in this video that I'm about to film for you guys is completely different from what my other videos look like because I don't re usually talk about stuff like this but God specifically told me to come and talk about it and if you can't tell I'm kind, I'm kind of nervous but I believe that like when I start talking about everything all these nerves are going to go first of all I can't even tell you how many excuses I give God as to why I should not be the one to talk about this. Why he can't just tell somebody else to talk about it. Why me? Why me? So, but like every time I give an excuse, he came back with an answer. So I'm just like, you know what? I'm not even about to be in the belly of no fish. So, so I'm going to stop running. I'm just going to come and like say what he told me to say. And that's it. For a while now, I have been really deep or rather I had been. What is this? I had been like really deep into this whole law of attraction thing you know what you attract is what you what, what you the vibes you give up is kind of vibes that you get it's kind of you attract the vibes that you give up you know whatever happens is under your control you can control anything you know things happen because you you think right if you think right then it is done for you if you think wrongly then that is what you get I was such a believer in this thing and before I knew it, I started buying like crystals. I started to like get involved in yoga and all these funny things. And then look, it was like God was watching me do all these things. And then he he probably like gave me a limit and he said, once you get here, you're done. So like once I started getting in more into like soul things, like your soul being able to match up with someone else's soul. Mind you, I have been a Christian all my life, okay? But I wasn't really Bible reading, church going to for self i started believing that see you know what this relationship with god is a one-on-one -on -one thing you don't have to go to church or you don't have to have a spiritual leader or anything like that it's not necessary i can do it by myself on my own and all that let me tell you it is important that you go to church that you have spiritual leaders like people that you look up to not people that you take as god but people that are there that have that have a deeper understanding of the bible of the word of god and of what god wants us to do that are there to guide you on your way okay anyway this video is not about me i'm going to share my testimony much later when everything has come full circle to a point where i can finally share everything that i went through and everything that god has saved me from so without further ado let's just get into this video and what this video is about all right so this video is about the law of attraction right and if you do not know what the law of attraction is it is this whole belief or this notion or this thought that you as a human being you have the power to attract the kind of life that you want to live your thoughts create the world that you live in basically your thoughts are your world whatever you think you attract whatever you want you attract all you need to do is meditate think on it hard don't inv don't invite any negativity etc etc et that is it i've gone online and have seen videos about how christians are encouraging people to um, get involved with love attraction even dropping bible passages as to how god is aligned with love attraction okay well i'm here to tell you what he told me and i'm just going to say it as he said it and i'm not going to sugarcoat anything or even add or remove i'm just god as you said it helped me say it exactly the same way all right so here's the flow with love attraction and where it's it's contrasts with christianity so the law of attraction promotes the belief system that us as humans have the power to influence everything and anything supernaturally physically emotionally we have the power to do everything right it makes you feel like you're the one in control it makes you feel like everything you do is through your own self nothing else but here's the guy yeah philippians 4 13 says what i can do what all things through who through christ who gives me strength so if you're not doing it through christ why are you doing it through think about it because on your own you have no power so where are you getting the power that you're using to attract this and attract that 
think about it don't be deceived not once in love attraction has anybody ever said oh and jesus is the one that gives you this no everything is so is so deeply rooted in self and how it is you that produces this it is you everything is about you it takes away jesus from the whole entire equation and as a christian what does jesus say that nobody comes to the father except through me right this is just so misleading and it is so like <laughs> the devil is so messed up because this same thing of self believing in self and grounding your beliefs on the fact that everything has to do with you is the same reason why the devil was thrown down from heaven think about this what happened that made god angry at the devil to throw him down at lucifer the fallen angel the one that is the universe the world what made god so angry at him it was because of how he started to see himself he started to loathe in his own beauty and started to see himself as equals to god in the law of attraction you are equal to god it's like this god is all-knowing he is everywhere he's in the chair he's in the shoe he's in your laptop he's in your phone he's in everywhere so he's in you you are god basically that's it so that is why you have the power to to say things and they happen guess what that is exactly how the devil got thrown down and he's trying to drag people down with him for the third flaw about the law of attraction is this it misdirects you as a christian it misdirects you from god's perfect will for your life here's how yeah so let's say what you want at this point in time mm, is to open a car dealership right okay that's cool it's not it's not a bad dream at all but guess what have you asked god about it have you talked to god about it that might be what you want but if it is not in accordance to the will of what god has in store for you then it is not what you're supposed to be doing as much as you think it's the best thing to ever have to your life Trust me, God always has more in store for you. Do you understand what I'm saying? Which leads me to the next point, which is that the law of attraction will always give you the cheapest version of everything you ever wanted. Now, you might want to own a car dealership. Meanwhile, God's plan for you is to own, to be a car manufacturer. Do you understand? You always get the cheapest version. And also, apart from just being, just having a bigger business than what you're imagining, is the fact that the law of attraction only talks about you getting earthly things like oh envision the car you want the five million dollar mansion or this and that but it does not talk about the important things salvation your soul what shall it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul see the bible really blows your mind like when you think just ask god here yeah, to show you how to read the bible and to give you a deep level of understanding of what he is saying and what he wants you to know and he will give it to you like this you will open your bible and you will read verses that you have read for all your life and they will mean completely different things so all you need to do is ask god but anyway the law of attraction always gives you the cheapest things right and it is so centered in getting all these earthly things right that it doesn't concentrate on the things that actually oh yeah that was what i was saying that actually matter your salvation peace of mind if you have ever been tormented before by devils and demons you know how important peace of mind is where you're sitting down and then all you all you hear all the time is voices in your head you're talking you don't know when you're in reality and when you're not let me tell you peace of mind is so underrated god forbid will you ever have to be in a situation where your peace of mind is disrupted then you know how important peace is and you know that when you don't have peace of mind money riches houses cars all these things are just nothing and that thing is joy it never talks about the law of attraction never talks about joy I don't mean happiness I mean joy that comes from only one place which is Jesus Christ don't get carried away don't get lost in the source that's just what I want to say the law of attraction sounds attractive and all these things but guess what nothing is leading you down faster than this thing this whole new age movement this whole law of attraction thing don't get lost in the source do not let it get into you and i'm not saying that jesus doesn't want you to be prosperous and have all these things he loves you you're his child he will give you every single thing you want if it is the perfect will of god for your life so let's go to the bible right proverbs 3 4 do not weary yourself with the overwhelming desire to gain wealth cease from your own understanding of it when you set your eyes on wealth it is suddenly gone for wealth certainly makes itself wings like an eagle that flies into the heavens wealth is fleeting if all you're doing is thinking thoughts of of <laughs> of cars of this and that guess what you die one day and those things can never follow you to heaven why not secure the things that you're going to have for eternity also matthew 6 33 seek you first kingdom of god and every other thing shall be added unto you i'm paraphrasing but that is kind of that is the nutshell of what it says 
seek ye first what the kingdom of god not seek ye first cars or seek ye first the five million dollar mansion seek ye first the kingdom of god and every other thing shall be added unto you there's nothing that god will keep away from you if you seek him first god has a plan for each and every single one of us and the plan and the purpose for all of us and the thing is you might be wanting one thing and that is completely in in deep complete contrast to what god actually has in store for you so law of attraction once again has nothing to do with jesus or his will for your life another flaw of the law of attraction and why we should not even meddle with all that as christians is it promotes pride right because here's the thing if everything you want comes from you everything is deep rooted in you in yourself in everything that you are it promotes that whole notion of of i am i am all controlling i am in control of everything my life my future who i'll marry all those things they are all in my control guess what the bible says about pride though pride goes before a fall and hurts the spirit before destruction simple straight and to the point remember what i was telling you guys at the beginning the devil got thrown down from heaven because of pride he was looking at his beauty he was thinking that he was all that wanted to sit within the same wanted to sit on the same level with god how and that is exactly what this whole law of attraction thing does puts you on the same level with god you order your own steps nothing has to do with god or anything like that it is pride deep rooted pride it is terrible that people cannot see through all of this is shy christians you're using uh, um ask and you shall uh, ask and you shall receive no can you shall find as the bible passage as a basis of the law of attraction guess what read for that down read for that down in fact let's just do it now matthew 7 7 says and keep on asking and to be given to you seek and keep on seeking and you will find knock and keep on knocking on and the door will open for you for everyone now listen for everyone who keeps on asking receives and he who keeps on seeking finds and to him who keeps on knocking it will be open or what man is there among you if his son asks for bread will instead give him stone or if he asks for fish will give him a snake if you then evil sinful by nature that's like human beings we are sinful by nature as you are know how to give good and advantageous gifts to your children now listen this is it how much more will your father who is in heaven perfect as he is give what is good and advantageous to those who keep asking of him now look that is the thing you cannot pick and choose which Bible passage you want to use to progress your agenda or to foster your agenda whatever no read the whole thing don't just say um matthew 7 7 and do this and do that and no read the whole thing it clearly states that you should ask and you shall be given unto you seek and you shall find knock and all these things through god simple and short do your research look for where the origin of these things came from don't mess with all these things jesus loves you too much to let you go down this path and that is why he sent me to come and tell you all these things and i believe that this video might not be for every single person that watches it but it is for the one person that's watching this video and is getting awakened by what i'm saying is the person that god sent me to and if it is you i'm so happy that you're watching this video and i'm so happy that you are knowing the real truth right now and i pray that god gives you the grace to cut away all these evil things that um that the devil has put in your way and put in your life and let me tell you it's not hard at all all you need to do is just tell god that you're sorry just say i'm sorry for worshiping myself i'm sorry for putting me before you putting all these things before you and accepting all these things into my life when all i was supposed to accept is jesus and just confess jesus and say the sinner's prayer and trust me you you are washed clean you are clean white as snow which jesus has forgiven you as long as you believe it another thing i want to tell you guys especially when i was um practicing this whole law of attraction thing and this one really affected me right now when i was practicing law of attraction it worked for me but here is where everything started to go wrong when it stopped working for me i was doing everything right everything by the books everything exactly the way the secret said it should be done everything by the books making no mistakes now it stops working and here's how the devil lures you into all these things right he gives you just a bit of it takes it back then you start yearning for it he now exposes you to much more so it was when the law of attraction stopped talking for me i started going into other things i started saying okay why isn't this working the way i want it to work and then i started getting introduced into like crystals and how you can use crystals to channel this use this to raise your vibration do this do that your soul can do this you and I, and I started yearning for all these things that are not of god and the thing is that the law of attraction and this whole crystals and doing this and doing that it never gives you 
fullness you always want to know more you always need to know more when you finish reading a book about about um, the law of attraction or really finish reading a book about like crystals and how you can use them to channel this and channel that that's another thing channeling is evil basically you're just opening your body to get possessed let me not even start going into all these things deeply i will share another video about it yoga using crystals all these funny things astral projection i will share a whole other video about that by the grace of god later on the law of attraction makes you feel like it will give you all you want but when you're not getting it there's a deep sense of depression that comes with not being able to attract what you want because since you're the one in control that means you must be doing something wrong if you're not getting what you want so you start to look at yourself you start to hate yourself because you know first of all this whole thing is deep rooted in self do you understand the devil is so cunning when you get depressed you start to need things to help you solve your depression problems right so you get into all these other things tarot card reading you need a psychic to help you do this you need to meditate you need to do yoga you need to do this and that and that and just keep opening yourself up to this evil and this Ugh. you guys i cannot words are failing me because i wish you can understand i wish you were in my heart to understand it exactly how god showed it to me so you would know that this is such a dirty thing to mess with this whole new age movement and this whole law of attraction thing it is not right it is not backed up by anything in the scripture he will give you what you want when you first start this whole thing but then he will give you a whole lot of things that you did not want and those things will will make you go and start searching for other things and it will make you start searching for the answer in places where it is not the only place you can find the answer to what you need to to solve your problems and all of that is in jesus christ believe me i have been down the dark road i, I promise i will share my testimony one day on this channel but i have been there all of this soul this soul that crystal channeling this and that i have been there okay and i'm telling you it is not a nice place to be at first it looks all pretty and all of that but let me tell you the devil never gives you anything good take it from me never never ever ever does the devil ever give you anything good and whatever he gives you always comes with a price don't be deceived don't be deceived. don't even start if you have not watched the secrets or you have not started meddling all this law of attraction things bless your soul don't ever get into it i'm so passionate about this thing i'm talking to you about because i've been there i have open myself up to different devilish demonic things to use me honestly and i'm telling you that is not the way you want to go and thank god for god honestly thank god for god for showing me and opening my eyes and i pray that if you're into this whole thing that god opens your eyes and shows you that this is not the way to go you guys i battled so much in my soul before i could film this video because i'm like i don't want to step on anybody's toes i don't want to shame anybody i don't want to i just i, I said god my channel is about happiness fun and all things great and you know just spreading light and happiness and love and just making people happy my channel doesn't talk about things like this and i said god i'm not i'm not holy enough i said i'm i'm not there i'm, I'm not I, can't. I said god you know what sometimes i cannot even say my words well sometimes i just be framing it left and right I, I say things as they go god i cannot but you know one thing god said to me right he was like you remind me a lot of my son moses and <laughs> and i was like oh my god and i knew that it was god that said that to me like i just knew like it was ugh. anyway so even though this video might get me in a bit of trouble even even though this video might make some people uncomfortable might make people feel like i'm coming for them or, or something i just want to tell you this yeah the devil will never give you anything good do you understand i just want you to understand it the devil will never give you anything good he makes things look like they're so rosy so perfect so so beautiful so harmless but let me tell you if it is not backed up by jesus christ it is not it and again remember that the devil only comes to do how many things three things to kill steal and to destroy don't let him do that with your soul because the see believe it or not in the spiritual there's a battle for our souls god is fighting for our souls the devil is fighting for our souls as well the devil wants to pull as many people with him down to hell as he's going and he doesn't care about you the worst thing you can ever believe is that the devil cares about you he does not let me tell you something let me let me break down why the devil hates us as human beings so much right 
the devil committed sin in heaven and immediately he was cast down to hell he was condemned but guess what when he came to us because god loved us so much he sent jesus christ his son his child his own to come and die for us us we human beings us to come and die for us not his angel that fell not the devil the devil didn't get no second chance we get a second chance so he is jealous he is angry and he is not happy with us as human beings so if you sit there and you think that oh the devil mm, he's just misunderstood that's something i hear a lot now and i'm just like misunderstood where where is he misunderstood my love he is not misunderstood he is angry with you he does not want you to make heaven so it's left to you to decide what part you want to go down if you want to follow the devil or if you want to follow god you know what i'm saying so this video is already very long all i just want you to know with this video is don't get lost in the source as a christian love attraction is not something you should be meddling with everything you want every single thing you want is already yours through jesus christ as long as it is his perfect will for your life he will give it to you once the time is right i just want you guys to know the truth because the truth will set you free okay so yeah if you're watching this video and you're not yet a christian or you don't believe in jesus definitely try your best to look into i'm not even going to try and force anybody i'm not going to say oh you're going to die if you're not no i'm not going to try and force you into christianity but i pray that jesus christ shows himself to you in a way that only you can understand in a way that you know that it is him so yeah i hope this video has opened your eyes up to a few things at least one thing and i just want to leave you guys with this um bible passage and i know you've heard it so many so many 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 times this is jeremiah 29 11 and it says for i know the plans and thoughts i have for you says the lord plans of peace and well-being and not for disaster to give you a future and a hope i think that is so deep and i think that that just tells you that jesus christ god he will never withhold anything good from you